the Trump administration is um, undermining or rolling back a number of those reforms on, on Affordable Care Act or climate or immigration and DACA. DACA is being rescinded. The United States will withdraw. We have essentially repealed Obamacare. From the Paris Climate Accord. How do you look at them now and, and think about your eight years and your blood, sweat and tears? Well, see, it was never about us. I mean, I signed up to work really hard. I love the country. It was an incredible honor. And when we had the baton, we did the best we could. Um, elections have consequences. I think that the people to ask that question to would not be me. It would be the DACA kids who are scared to death about whether or not they're going to get deported or the person who does have a pre-existing condition who's worried that when you don't have a mandate, are you going to be able to afford covering people with pre-existing conditions? And so. What, what troubles me as I travel around the country is how many people are really worried and scared, but I also take the long view. And our democracy has never been easy. It's always had periods of chaos. A lot of really tough times, the civil rights era, um, people describe it with the, through the lens of 50 years Hence, but I remember what it was like when uh, a church in Birmingham was bombed and four little girls died, or when uh, people walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge and were hosed and stoned down. But the mighty, mighty force that will always win is you. They say a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. We call BS. They and say when you decide that you're going to show up, then a state like Florida that is with a governor who has an A-plus rating from the NRA probably, changes the law in just a matter of weeks. Really big things happen when citizens get involved. And so I think that in a sense, a sleeping giant has been awakened mm -hmm. and that's you. Mm -hmm.